In this video, we will see how to integrate your Next.js app with ChatGPT. So first of all, you have to install OpenAI with the given command npmi openai. Now you need to have an API key. To get the API key, all you have to do is you have to visit platform.openai.com. Under your profile picture icon, you can get view API keys option. Once you come here, you can see a button which says create new secret key. Once you click on it, you will get your API key. Now coming back to the VS Code, you have to create a new file called .dnv.development. In here, you need to create a variable which will keep the API value, which in return we'll be using in the front end by calling it with process.dnv. Now coming back to the UI part, we'll just be focusing mostly on the logical part. So let's get started. We'll define a text area. We'll keep an arm change with handle change. Now since we are getting an error on handle change, let us go ahead and let us create a function separately for handle change. Now we need to have a use state in order to get the response from the front end. We'll rename the variables as query and set query. Now since this is a TypeScript file, you can strictly go ahead and type your use state as the type string. Now this is totally an optional part. You can either keep them or remove. In our case we'll be removing it since we'll always be using the type string. Now let's go ahead and let's use our set query inside the handle change. We'll get the user typed value from e.target.value. We need to define e with the proper type or else it will freak out with the type mismatching error. Now we'll be working on the button part. We'll be giving the name submit to this button. Let's define an on click as handle click. Now let's copy paste the handle change function and rename the handle change to handle click. We'll also be removing all the unnecessary things which are not related to handle click. Firstly, let's create a variable called configuration. Here we'll be using new configuration which we'll be importing from OpenAI. The import is wrong, we'll fix it in a bit. We will pass API key as the object to new configuration. We'll be making use of the variable that we had earlier defined in env.development file and we'll be calling it with process.env. the name of the variable. Now we need to create a new variable. We'll name it as openai. We'll use OpenAI API and we'll pass configuration as the parameter to OpenAI API. Now we need to fix our imports. We need to call OpenAI API from OpenAI Dist API. Also, we need to call our configuration from OpenAI test configuration. Now let us work on our response part. Now since this is going to be a promise, we'll make use of await. And if we are going to make use of await, we also need to define async. We'll be using the OpenAI variable. And now we'll be taking out create completion from OpenAI. We'll pass model as text DaVinci 003. And now we'll define all the key values. So in the prompt section, make sure to put the query and make sure to use the max tokens wisely because one token is roughly equal to four characters or four letter word. 
Now since we have completed the setup part, let's console.log the response once and check in browser. Now once I enter the query and click on the submit button, we should be able to see the response on the console. Now to get your result, you have to go to data, choices of zero and text. Now all that is left out is to use a new use date. We'll name it as result, set result. And we will pass set result inside the handle click and store the response. To remove the error, all you have to do is you need to put the exclamation mark at the end. It is just assuming that the response that it is getting by default is undefined. Now test your application for one last time to get surprised.